Hey, how's it going, everybody? We are going to slow down the music so you all can hear me loud and clear. GM, or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time. Having a fantastic week so far. Um, I know it has been a while since we've had a wall TV episode. There's just been a lot of things going on, and we've been trying to handle everything as well as prepare for this amazing launch. So far, just soft launch, but launch of the Magic Muffin. So I hope you all are having a great time. Definitely let me know what you guys think so far, how your Ally Pass experience has been, potentially if you've had the chance to put your hands on the Magic Muffins game so far, or if you have any juicy tips and advice for me while I get started on my own muffin journey today. And as always, you guys, hopefully you guys are here with me and you share the same sentiment. I just want to give a huge shout out to the Earn Alliance team. They make these happen. So I am Guru. I'm your host. I actually come around hopefully every single weekend or every single week, but for the last couple of weeks, we have been a little bit off. From this point onward, though, we're going to have some exciting weeks ahead. I'm your host of The Wall TV. We get together, we talk about Web3 Gaming, and we just try to stay up to date with some of the news. Today's episode is going to be a little different, though, because it is a special day. Today, if you guys have been paying attention, was actually the soft launch of Earn Alliance's in-house built Telegram game, the Magic Muffins. So for those of you who aren't familiar, we've had a few spaces. We've talked about them. Telegram games are actually games built on Telegram mini apps. And with the integration of Web3, they're becoming pretty hot these days. There's some really popular ones out there. And Earn Alliance is, of course, trying to make a place for themselves up on the pedestal with their newest and hottest addition to the Telegram game series, which is the Magic Muffin. So today we're going to go through and we're going to start playing right from square one. I've saved up some gold. I've got some ally. We're going to open some chests. We're going to defeat some monsters. And we're going to talk a little bit about Magic Muffins, what I personally think is a really good way to get started, and then maybe just go over a few things, learn a few things together, and answer some questions along the way. So I see, yes, Ellie, thank you very much. You threw the link down in the chat. You guys, we do have a link to the Earn Alliance. Um, actually, we have a link to the Earn Alliance post here right now, which is our Magic Muffin teaser video, but we'll also be throwing down a link to the Telegram channel down there as well if you want to learn more and be able to actually start playing Magic Muffins yourself. So it is available, just a heads up, it is available. You are able to go and play, but just know that it is soft launch. So there might be a couple of bugs along the way. The true official launch is going to happen next week on September 12th, which you can check out in that video if you want. It's a pretty awesome video. It even has a special, uniquely special Magic Muffins theme song in it, which I love myself. So it will be an absolute blast for you guys. But hey, without further ado, let's jump in. So for those of you who do not know, the easiest way to get started on this is you have to head over to earnalliance.com and you actually have to sync your Telegram account with your Earn Alliance account so that all of your muffin assets and all of your gold can actually transfer over. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that right now, how to do that at the moment, simply because I do not want to actually go through and reset up everything. I've already connected my Telegram account. And I don't want to disconnect it, but it's very, very easy. Don't worry. For now, though, I'm actually just going to get us started. I'm going to start playing Magic Muffins right away. I actually have us on. Let me just swap this around real quick. I have us on the main screen here right now. This is what you'll see when you start playing Magic Muffins is you'll see a little clip from the comic. But let's get started. Let's keep going right now. By the way, if you guys are down to chat, throw me, throw me a GM. Let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. And if you have any questions, I'll be keeping my eyes on the chat. Uh, but let's get going. So essentially, if you guys have been following the comics, the previous crew of Earn Alliance that has been, I don't know what they're up to, but they were sailing around checking some funky stuff up. Um, they found a very, very special tablet. And there was some shenanigans going on with muffins. They ate some funky muffins, and they all turned into muffins. So now the muffins have actually found some planet somewhere that needs their help. And we are going to have to go through and we're going to have to battle some monsters, level up along the way and help out the planet here. Uh, let me know how the audio is by the guy way, guys. If it's too loud, just let me know. I can turn it down a bit. AEGM paid to rock GM. So let's get going. First off, we got here. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to read it out. I will be your lieutenant today. Don't let me down for glory and sugar and some rare NFTs. The recruit arrived. Well, better than nothing, she brought us some monster potions. What is this? Why is he telling I feel like he's talking smack. We came here to help out. We're going to help out. All right, we get our first muffin. Okay, we have a muffin. 
We have a little bit of the monster dust. It's more like an XP potion. And we have some muffin dust here. So let's keep going. So I can't even start to pronounce this. I always suck at it, but I believe it's Wabadalabadu. <laughs> Welcome to Magic Muffins. Transmute Magic Muffins into cosmic NFTs. Earn ally tokens and join our mind-bending muffin token airdrop campaign. That is a lot. That is a mouthful. So when you first start, you'll see all I can do right now is just hit fight. So this is the first time user experience. You guys all have to go through it too. But before we even jump into it, I just want to show you guys a couple of things. So first off, we do, of course, have our settings. I am going to turn it down just a touch just because on my side, it's a little bit loud, but I want to keep all the effects and the music on. If you guys don't like the effects, like the hitting or the um, the clinking of the potions, you can turn those off, don't worry. Now, another thing that's exciting is if you click on this, it's actually linked to your ally pass. So as you progress, oh, you can't watch it live? Is it laggy for anybody else? Can anybody else see it okay? Let me know if you guys can see it or if it's really, really laggy. Um, so you guys, the ally pass is actually linked to your Magic Muffin gameplay. So as you progress in Magic Muffins, your ally pass will also progress. I'm super excited for this because I am not very good at doing the missions, but I'm great at doing my dailies. So I'm gonna be playing with these muffins and hopefully progressing my ally pass. So while you're here, it's as easy as just clicking. Just click on it. Here we go. I'm gonna try and see how fast I can click. Okay, we got some supplies. Our, all right, our supplies are enough for us to evolve and become more powerful. Let's jump in. Ah, uh, yes, we start here. So let's use these potions, level up to 30. So once we've leveled up to 30, you'll be able to merge. So it says here, two muffins of the same occupation and rarity. So rarity is the star level, can merge into one more powerful muffin when both are at max level. So it's gonna tell me here to merge them over. Be very careful when you do this. It's the muffin that you click and drag that will merge. So what ends up happening is I'm going to sacrifice this muffin to level up this muffin. And if I wanted it the other way around, I could drag it that way. Now I want to keep the space suit. So I am going to drag the space suit over, but you drag it over and there we go. I got 127 attack now. I'm rocking a two star. So continue to level up and evolve your muffin to more powerful tiers. Common, uncommon, rare, super rare, epic, and legendary. And then at epic and legendary tier, you can mint your muffin into an NFT. And at legendary tier, you get access. You can access exclusive endgame content. So this one, this legendary tier, I didn't even know about this. We have not heard about this yet. This is even news to me. But here's the main, the main focus here. You want to level up your muffins as best you can and get them starred up because once you get them to five star, you can actually mint it into an NFT. And once you've minted a specific combination, nobody else can mint that. So you do want to be the, well, you don't have to be the first per se, but you want to be quick. You want to be one of the earlier people to achieve that so that you have the widest range of opportunity to choose your specific assets or your specific traits to mint your NFT the way you want. So that's the whole idea here. Me, myself, I'm going to be getting into this. I'm just going to keep hitting these things because I do want to keep leveling up. Oh, but I have OCD. I have to move him into the middle. <laughs> no wait why why can't i remove him oh because i only have one that's why that's ah, okay we'll go back let me see how fast i can click okay now we have a boss by the way a hey, gm jawberry i see you in there what's going on so the bosses are particular the boss can actually heal so you have to tap really fast if you cannot tap fast enough or if you don't do enough damage the boss will actually out heal your damage so you do need to be very careful about this i'm gonna see how fast i can click hopefully i can click fast enough there we go that wasn't too bad i think i did pretty good i used two fingers <laughs> so defeating a boss always yields a nice reward break the lock to open so after you beat a boss you do actually have to defeat a chest and this will cost energy you have to be careful and make sure you have enough actual energy to defeat the chest um, so if you defeat the boss but can't defeat the chest you won't be able to get the reward thankfully the chest does not heal though nice background yeah you like it this is the earn alliance wall here we are the wall tv i had to change it so we got a bit of gold we got some ally we're doing all right 
Now you guys can see I have 1.8k ally and I have 12,000 gold. I have saved up a bit. We will open some chests in a bit. Don't worry, but we have to get through the FTUE first. So let's move on to the next level. As you can see, I've gone up to level two. The monsters have increased a little bit in power, but everything looks the same. We haven't actually changed much yet. We have to go through a few levels. Actually, you have to go through 20 levels in order to complete the region by defeating the final boss. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but for those of you who do get to level 20 and beat the final boss, I hope you guys can drop some uh, posts on Twitter and tag us in it so we can see it. Because that final boss is pretty cool. So let's just keep clicking. That's all we got to do here. I want to see. So I'm at 2354 on my ally pass. Don't judge me. I told you guys I'm not good with my missions. And every time I complete a round, I get a little bit of XP. So if I go through a lot of energy, which I plan to, I should actually... Yeah. There we go. Sorry, I had to really focus on that. I should be able to level up quite a bit. So we get more gold, more ally. I'm actually getting pretty decent ally token from this. That's not bad at all. I used to be happy to get one or two ally from... Uh, a legendary chest when I opened it. Now I get it per level in Magic Muffins. That's actually super dope. The one thing I'm not doing really good on though is this XP potion. That's something I'm really gonna have to farm. Ooh, so I gotta stop you guys real quick and re just bring your guys' attention to something. So as you can see, first off my screen is flashing red and I even have a warning telling me that I don't have enough energy. I have 17 hits to try and defeat this thing. It's very unlikely that I'm going to beat it. So I more than likely will end up having to actually replenish my energy or potentially power up my muffin in order to beat them. Now, I am going to try my best here. I am going to level up a bit, maybe two times, see if I can get a bit more power. I'm going to see if I can even throw a weapon on. Okay, I do have a rolling pin doesn't really matter with that. I don't think it matters much. I'll, I'll put a topping on. I'll try my best. I get a bit of attack power. Let's see. Can I replace this? No, I can't. Okay. We're going to try my best. Hey, what's up, new Scorpio? I'm about to get my butt kicked by a boss here. So wish me luck. I got, I got 18 hits. Let's see what I can do. No, I couldn't do it in time. Okay. That's okay, though, because we get our energy boost. So two times a day, you can refill your energy for free. And I'm going to refill it right now. Um, and also, while you're in here, you can actually collect a daily muffin reward for free. So this will have any sort of muffin assets. Okay, so I got some toppings and I got a rolling pin. It's kind of all right. I would have rather had a muffin, but I can deal with that. So it's trying to tell me to equip this. I already had a rolling pin equipped. All right, back to kicking some butt. So, oh, my supplies from Earn Alliance has arrived. This is awesome. So after you get through this, you get all your muffins. Now, I don't have as money, as much muffins. Is it breaking up, New Scorpio? I wonder if it's me. It could potentially be my connection. Let me know. Are you guys getting it? Is it my audio that's breaking up or is it the game volume? If it's the game volume, it's probably not me. But if it is my audio, let me know. I'm going to set up a team here, by the way. I want to get three two stars because they're going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, try setting the video quality lower. So two things, guys. Um, first off, X video streaming is a little wonky sometimes, depending on what browser you use. Um, in order to have high quality, you actually have to have a browser that supports, I believe it's HVEC um, video streaming. So just set it lower and you'll be able to see a little bit better. Don't worry, though. We will definitely be taking the VOD from this. We'll be posting it on YouTube later. So you guys will get to see it. Yeah, 720p might just be too much. So we could go back to fighting this boss. But you guys, I'm going to show you something. So like I said, I got about 12,000 gold. I don't know how much you guys have. I also have a bit of ally. I do actually want to go into the shop here. This energy upgrade. If I'm going to give you some advice on what the best thing to focus on first is, it's definitely this energy upgrade. So at the moment, I only have 250 energy. With three muffins taking three energy a hit, that's not going to last me very long. So I highly recommend these early energy upgrades. They're very valuable, and I do think they're a great use of your gold. Now, they will start to grow exponentially. 
but they're permanent for the time being. So they're a really, really good use of your gold before you start spending your gold on other stuff that might not be as big of a use for it. So that's my recommendation. <laughs> Scorpio, you can't buy any more upgrades. Are you full? You're at a, you're at 1,250? Dude, you're a machine. Here, I'm gonna level up a little bit more. So as you can see, it's growing exponentially. I'm at 175, 205. Okay, 270, let's see how much I have now. I have 530. It's not bad, but I can go a little bit further. So I am gonna go probably up to around 800. 600 is fine, maybe we'll do one more. Ah, we'll do one more. What are we at, 650? What do you guys think, 650 is okay? Or let's do one more. 670, no, we can't stop there. We're gonna go to 710. Okay, we stop here. Promise, we stop here. We're not going any further. I think 710 is good. So the reason why you want to level this up is because it's percentile. It's proportional. When you get your energy refilled every 20... Well, it's not quite 24 hours. I can't drop the details on that. Or when you use an energy refill, it will refill the whole amount. So rather than 250, I will get the whole 710. Um, and for those of you who know me, I'm very OCD. I've already realized I can't handle that. I need to have 750. So we're using that. Um, we cannot buy any chests yet. We got to finish the FTUE, but we're going to continue going through. So let's keep clicking. We got one more to do. It's this little chest up here and I'll show you guys. Oh, I'm so much stronger. Okay. We're going to level up this guy or equip him with a rolling pin. Also, I might make him Bran. Yeah, I like Bran. We're going to give him some toppings. We're going to give him some some orange toppings. He looks a little goofy like that, but I don't mind it. That's what we're going to do. And then airdrop twinkle. All right, we'll make you chocolate twinkle. And what are we going to give her? Maybe pecan? What do you guys think? Some pecan chocolate? Yeah, let's do it. You send me some gold from my bank? You have more than 150k? Dude, you're insane. You guys are absolutely whales. I could never, I could never have that much. Wait, did you guys see that? I, I just got robbed. I didn't get anything from the chest. What was that? I totally got robbed there. Oh my goodness. And uh, new Scorpio, I'll drop you some alpha. I did actually learn from the team um, that the next regions will be coming out soon after the official launch later. So don't worry, the new regions are coming. Nice, I got a reward this time. Oh. Yeah, like we need some gold. What is this? These whales got to hook us up some gold here. I think those were chocolate bits. I want to replace those. Yes, chocolate chunks. We got to put chocolate chunks on the chocolate. You guys know how it is. Hey, my airdrop twinkles looking pretty good, actually. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. As you guys can see, every time I hit, this uh, meter is going up on the top here. Oh, I'm out of energy. Speak of the devil. So this is why you got to save some of your gold too, because you want to be able to refill your energy. I've saved a bit. I don't want us to have to end it that quickly. Oh, there we go. Okay, almost. You've been beating the same 34 at level 40 for a while. Are you not able to get past the boss? Do you have to like keep... Oh, I got an outfit. Whoa, that outfit looks so cool, actually. There we go. So the Muffin Alliance sends us new supplies when the bar is filled. This one's important because this one has a chance to give you the um, weapon dust. Yes, this is what I need. So the weapon dust is really valuable. If you go to the chests here, you can use the weapon dust for... Um, equipment chests, or you can use them for, where is it? For repairing. So this is what you need your weapon dust for. Repairs are very, very important. You guys do not want your weapons to be broken because that's where a majority of your damage is going to come from. Uh, but now, now that we are done, we get to get into the gotcha. This is my favorite part. The best Telegram game at the moment, he says, clip it, clip it, screenshot that. That's what we're going for. It's exactly what we're going for. So let's keep going. I'm thinking we open some premium muffin chests. What do you guys think? You guys think I should wail on this a little bit? These premium muffin chests might give me some goodies. I'm thinking maybe we open like 10 of them 
that'd be 200 ally if ally goes to 10 bucks in the future that'll be a damn bitcoin pizza i gotta do it for the memes let's open one what do we get oh we got a three star nice another three star oh my goodness getting two three stars from this is really good okay we're gonna swap we're gonna do one muffin one equipment so we're gonna swap out and do the equipment now what do we get oh my goodness i think this is a really really good topic this is one of the best oh my goodness we just got a five star sword holy oh my goodness what that was such a oh my you guys i need to show you this so that topping is a six star topping and that weapon that i just got was a five star weapon that is so insane look at how much it oh my goodness look at how much it takes to repair this thing 142 to repair this thing it's so strong it doesn't even come at full durability that's how strong it is damn that's that was that was good i'm pretty happy but i think we're gonna keep going i don't know it'll be hard to top that but i told you guys we're gonna do five of each let's keep going well let's keep going all right what do we get uh, that's like losing the 50 50 in a gotcha game it's okay it's okay we can come back from those we can come back from those hey we got a four star staff i will take it four star staff is nice all right one more let's do it what do we got okay i'll take a three star i'll take another three star you only have five to six weapons yeah you guys are telling me i'm lucky trust me i know i'm lucky that was very lucky Okay, a three star, and we got some chocolate chunks. All right, you know what? We gotta we gotta just warm it up a little bit. We're gonna do another premium muffin here because you guys know what it's like. <sighs> okay, I wanna do another muffin. I, I wanna try and get a better muffin. I wanna see if I can get a oh, I'm pretty sure this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This is powder. This is one of the magic eight muffins, I think. This is a special one. I think I did just get a special muffin. Okay, we'll do one more. See what I get. I keep saying one more, but I'm not gonna stop till I get satisfied here. We're gonna use a little bit. I want to keep using this. We're going to whale out a little bit. I really want to get Sir Mango. That's what I want more than anything. He's my favorite. He's my paladin. Oh, I like that face. Okay. So we got a couple three-star muffins. I think we're not bad where we're at right now. I think we're going to do maybe two more of the equipment chests, and then we'll get back to playing. If any of you whales want to send me some ally, maybe I can open a few more. Who knows? Um, I want to do one more. You only stopped after a full four-star team. Did you open chests all the way until... Oh, that looks cool. Until you got a full four-star team, Scorpio? You're a menace. Oh, I got another five-star weapon. Okay, we're happy. And I got a new... Oh, I got new topping. That topping looks so cool, actually. All right, maybe a couple more on these. I want to get something better. Damn. You're a machine, dude. You're a machine. So... Once again, guys, like this is definitely NFA, right? Like you can very much choose how to spend your ally. Um, obviously, I myself, I would like to spend it on the game itself. I prefer the game. Nice. I think this is another special one. So I am going to spend it more on the game. But all of you out there don't feel like you have to be dumping your ally and stuff like this. Definitely. There's a lot that you can earn from the game itself. So go ahead and play the game, get a feel for it, earn some stuff in the game, and then you can choose afterwards if you want to spend your ally on it or not. But I myself do want to spend my ally. So I got Thutter Treat, which is pretty cool. I like him a lot. I do still think I potentially want to keep Twinkle. So I'm going to unequip some of this stuff. Now, another thing to keep in mind as I go through this, everybody, I want to show you something. Like I mentioned, you use more energy depending on how many muffins you have. And I'm in the earlier levels, so I don't need a lot of power to make it through these levels. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to use five muffins. I'm only going to use three. I don't want to have to use more muffins. It's not like they're going to level up faster as a result because I have to use the potions. So I do recommend being strategic about how many muffins you use in the beginning because you can only deal so much damage to an enemy. All these enemies have about 1500 health. So if I'm dealing more than 1500 damage, which I assume I will after setting up a three muffin team, then it would kind of be pointless for me to be running five muffins. So this is just a little bit of advice for you guys who actually want to be 
um, potentially playing the game at a slightly higher level, don't go and waste everything. So I'm sorry, Twinkle, I'm going to have to remove these because you didn't come with a space suit. Um, I am actually going to remove both of these two. I'm going to put you over here, good sir. I think I'm going to put this boy right in the middle. I like him and I'll put powder on the right. Yeah, one, the one click, like one turn kill is really nice. Screw is kind of cool too. I like screw. No, it's okay. I think this is what I want. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy looks so evil. There's no way that I can do this. No, 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 no. I'm going to unequip this. There's no way I'm running a two star here. I'm going to remove him. I got to run somebody else who's a three star. What is this one? This is the dank meme maestro. Yeah, he's going to be my boy. All right, we're doing him. He's powerful. Okay, we're going to give, I think we're going to give the sword to Thutter Treat over here. And then for, hmm, is there attack power on this? Not really. I don't want to give that to Thutter Treat. I just don't think that the Barbarian outfit fits in very well. I do like this cinnamon though. We are going to go for cinnamon. And then for toppings, what do you guys think? Do we just put the big boy on him? I think we do. We just give him the best one. I think he looks epic like this. I really like the way he looks. All right, Thutter Treat does 792 damage. He's a monster. Let's keep going here. I think four. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Maybe a four star staff for powder. Adios, Scorpio. Yeah, we'll definitely have the recording up later. Don't worry. I'm not going to put a, um, I'm not going to put some clothes on her. I think I'm just going to keep it just normal like it is. We do want a little bit of extra attack. And then for flavor, I think we're going to go brand for her. Yeah, she's looking like a nice brand muffin. All right, the Dank Meme Maestro. We want to get him all done up here. Oh, wow. None of these have... Wait, none of these have attack power. Only this one does, the Meteor Crumbles. Ah, I'm, I want to go for the look, so I'm going to do it this way. And then for clothes, we're going to throw the Lucky Frenzy Garb on him. Nice, he looks so dope. And then we're going to give him this Lucky Oven Mitt. Oh, he looks so cool. Okay, this is my team, guys. I'm definitely one hit killing these things. So let's go. There we go. If you notice, two of these attack, but this wand over here, this staff actually shoots a little beam at it. So there's just a slight delay, but I'm one, I'm one hit killing everything here. It's the most efficient way for me, well, except for the boss. It's the most efficient way for me to try and beat these early levels. So I only use one energy each. The chest, of course, I have to hit a couple times. The one thing to keep in mind too, if you guys are worried about hitting too fast and potentially over attacking, even though you would have one hit defeated the enemy, don't worry. The game is smart about the damage being dealt. So if you technically would have dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy with one click and one of your attacks moves a little bit slower, it will actually just stop you from attacking again, and there'll be a slight delay before you defeat the enemy. So it does set up a certain way, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I just realized now that our chocolate boy has the wrong topping on. We're definitely going to be putting some chocolate on him. Some cursed chocolate chunks at that. There we go. All right. Still one hit. One hit defeating. So we want to be as efficient as possible in the beginning here, which we will be. Something isn't working on the referral program. I believe that the team's already aware of it, actually, but I actually think that there's a fix in place. Um, we'll make sure that we have comms around it. Maybe, Ellie, just keep that in mind so we can communicate. I think there are two different referral links. Oh, this clothing looks awesome. Um, and if you're using the old referral link, it will still not work. But I do believe that there is a new one. So, I think... Oh, that looks so cool. The Enhanced Muffinator. Okay, we're going to put that on Thutter Tree. Damn, he looks so cool. Okay, I like this. And then we're going to put the space suit on here. Yeah, we'll check it out for sure. Don't worry, guys. But thank you for letting us know. This is part of the soft launch. We want to make sure that we get everything set up in the soft launch here. So that um, we can fix all the bugs for the real launch. As you guys can see, I'm a little overpowered now. This is um, called credit card gaming in some games. It's a little bit pay to win, but it's also lucky. I got very lucky on this. 
pulling those two five star weapons is not super common. Oh, I got the M. Oh my goodness, I got the M. This is a special muffin. Oh, this is a special muffin. He's one of the magic eight. Yeah, he's one of the magic eight. This is the M. Okay, I know what I got to do, guys. I got to level this bad boy up. So right now, I don't think he'll be able to do as much. So I'm not going to use him yet. But I do want to keep my eyes. I have two of these. What is his class again? His class is, I, I believe he's like a warrior. So I need to find another one star warrior to be able to fuse him with to make him two star. So this, this is one I've got to work on for a little bit, but I do want the M to be in my team. I really like the M. That just goes to show. It definitely can pay off just to, that was just a boss chest. That wasn't even a, um, a specialty. I didn't have to pay for that at all. And I got a magic eight character. <laughs> it's so, it, it's almost like a little overkill that I defeat those little ones so easily. I feel like if we're just that overpowered, maybe I should just be able to... I should just be able to crush through it. Oh my goodness, I just got a three star from a level nine boss chest. You guys, do not fade the progression chest. These things are insane. I'm getting better luck than some of the premium chests that I open. Yeah, of course. The game is... Uh, honestly, I do really enjoy it, though, so far. Like, it's very simple, and I'm playing on desktop, as you guys can see. Um, I do believe they're going to be trying to put a desktop together for people. I've got some sneaky link that I can make work here. Um, but even the Telegram side of it, I was playing it on my phone for quite a while, and you can just tap very easily. Now, I will give you guys a little bit of alpha. There are going to be some potential sneaky changes that come into play later on that will, um, oh, I'm not one hitting, that will actually give you guys a reason to not just tap through everything. And you will want to pay attention to what you do. So that's all I'm saying. That's all the alpha you get. But there are some things that are going to be coming up later on um, that will force you to pay a little bit more attention and make sure you're not just tapping all the time. So now that I have gotten to the point where I don't one hit things anymore, I want to add another muffin to my team. I think I'm going to add Screw over here. I'm going to give him a weapon that does good damage. Okay. This is a pretty crazy weapon, and I like it. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm definitely going to use this one. We don't have any clothes for him. That's fine. We do have lots of toppings. I think for flavor, we'll just make him just a brand flavor. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, for toppings, I'm going to give him the meteor crumbles, just so I get the most damage out of him. There we go. So now we go back. We're back to one hitting again. So this is how I recommend you do it. You slowly build out your team as your damage necessitates it. Do your math, right? We can see here that my team damage is about 700 by 800. So seven times eight or 700 plus 800, you're going to be about that 1500 range. And then you get another 600 here almost on top of it to bring you up to your like roughly 2100 and then just a little bit 400 on top of it. So if we look here, he has 2200 or really 2.21k HP, so I'm going to one-hit him. And if he does have a little bit more HP later on, just do the math for it. Um, grab a calculator if you want. You don't have to do it all in your head, and you'll be able to actually just perfectly defeat the monster. Now, in the event that, say, I cannot get these kind of damage levels because maybe you just didn't get the gotcha look like me, or maybe you're a free-to-play player, I still think that you should consider how many hits or how much damage you'll do over how many hits. So maybe I only do 800 damage in total, right? And if this enemy has 2.21K, that means I'm gonna have to hit three times in order to defeat them. Now, if you get to a point where you just get a little bit underneath that and you have to hit four times, but the final hit is only doing 100 damage at the end, then I recommend you upgrade your muffins, add another muffin to the team, etc. So that you're not overusing energy. Because even if it only has 100 HP, but you hit it once with four muffins, you're going to use four energy. So just a little bit of, of um, strategy for you guys there to help you out and make sure that you're not wasting your energy. Oh, nice. We got some muffin dust and we got the uh, weapon dust as well. I kind of want to use a damage multiplier just to show you guys, but I'm going to save it. 
I believe we'll probably be able to beat level 20 before we stop the stream today. So I want to wait till we get to level 20 and then I'll use a damage multiplier. Did we just get bacon? You're a businessman player? Is that what you are? Crypto, did you already figure that out without me telling you? You're like, Goober, you don't got to tell me this stuff. I'm already on top of it. Yo, we got to turn him into bacon. He looks scary. We got to get an outfit for him now. Yeah, see, we have like perfect damage. And then if we get to the point where we need, pardon me, where we need to do a little bit more damage, I will just level up my muffins, maybe potentially add another muffin to the team, whatever has to happen. I'd always prefer to level my muffins up before adding a muffin to the team, simply because I don't want to have to waste an extra energy, right? If I can just level up a muffin and do more damage, I'm going to do that over adding an entire muffin to the team. By the way, Ellie, if we haven't for a while, maybe we can drop a link to the uh, the Telegram in the chat again. So for anybody who might just be tuning in right now, uh, we're playing Magic Muffins, which is the brand new Telegram mini app web three game. Yes, it's a mouthful. It's essentially just a web three game on Telegram um, by Earn Alliance. So if you guys want to check it out, it is a tap. Technically, it is a tap to earn game, and you're able to actually synergize it with all of the activities on EarnAlliance.com, such as our quests, challenges, the ally pass, and even just the daily chest on the wall. So a lot of opportunity for you to get some goodies to use in game, and vice versa. You actually progress in Magic Muffins, and it progresses your ally pass. So guys, check it out if you want to. Head over to the Earn Alliance Telegram channel. You'll be able to actually interact with the team there. We'll have all official links there. And you can stay up to date with everything that's going on with the Earn Alliance ecosystem, especially around Telegram. Hey, Jay, what's going on, GM? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm a little OP for anybody who's just tuning in and like, what is this non-riveting gameplay of this guy who's just murdering everything in one hit? Well, I did get a little lucky. You can already see my Thutter Treat here looks like a Giga Chad. This guy is so strong. I got a five star intense magical sword. Was it my first pull? Yeah, I think it was my first pull on a chest. So um, a little wild, definitely not indicative of exactly how you guys are going to experience the game. But um, I do think if you get lucky, because I have been getting lucky on some of the other chests, I definitely think that you could power up a team to be almost as powerful as this very quickly. See? Oh, we got a whistle hack. So this was the very first muffin I ever got. When I opened my first muffin chest on Earn Alliance, I got one of the whistle hacks here. We're almost out of energy. Okay, now we're hitting twice. Do you guys notice? I was hitting twice and watch. If I hit twice, it uses four energy. So I don't want to do that. So we're going back to the drawing board here. We're going to see if there's something we can do. Now, if we do a quick math, again, this and this. So that pretty much brings it up to like 1,510. This would be 2,000, almost 2,100. And then this would bring me up to like 2,500, just over 2,500. And this has 2,700. So if there's a way for me to get a bit stronger here, I'm going to do that. But I don't think that there is. I think the only way that I'm going to be able to defeat this is by... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to add another muffin to the team. Let me see what I can do here. It's only two damage. It's not going to be enough. I also want to be leveling up the, the M. Maybe... Maybe we just throw the M on here and we just get started with this. No, no, no. He's going to be somebody that I'm going to have to just work on slowly. I don't want to waste it. If I'm going to be using energy, I want to make sure that I'm using somebody who actually does damage. I like this tongue right here. This girl looks like she's got some, I'm assuming it's a female. Could not be. Um, I don't want to be caught assuming the wrong way here, but I'm assuming that this person got some, got some fight in them. I like that, that facial expression. So we're going to throw it on there for weapon. I think we're going to go for the straw. Or it's called a confetti blowgun. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. What's this person's name? Sugarlick. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get back. We're back to one hitting, guys. This is the dopamine that I need. Now that I'm using five energy, it will use exactly five energy every single time. But that's good. So I should have probably another maybe two worlds left maybe two or three worlds left before oh okay it's not gonna let me use it no come on give me that one energy what are you guys doing all right let's go back 
I'm not buying any more energy upgrades. It's so expensive for me and I want to be able to save the gold to be able to progress a little bit more because I do want to try and beat level 20 before we end the stream. I think that's the best way to do it so you guys can see just a little bit of an Easter egg at the end of it. <laughs> I'm doing so much damage. How is this thing attacking? Can you guys see how this is attacking, this confetti blowgun? Yeah, it is throwing. Okay, you know what? I'm very OCD this way. I want to see... Let me remove him really quick. Move her over there. Put him back. Boom. All right. I want all the people in the middle to be melee, and then the two on the right are going to be ranged. Oh, wait. This one's... This one's ranged, too. I didn't realize that that spike thing was ranged. Hey, we got matcha. We got matcha. Do I have any matcha enjoyers in the chat here? Oh, cinnamon's good. But I think with the color of this, we got to go with matcha. Definitely got to go with matcha. Check this out. Oh my goodness. He looks kind of gross. And um, for that reason alone, I like it. <laughs> I definitely like it. So I'm going to stick that way. Powder, I think we could probably do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're probably going to do some... Uh, some cinnamon on powder over here. That's how we're going to do it. Powder gets the cinnamon treatment. Okay, so I have three ranged weapons now, actually. I didn't even realize that. I think for that specifically, what we're going to do is we'll remove our boy here. And we're going to go... Okay, powder. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. I think I broke it. Let me go back. Here we go. Okay, Powder, you in the middle. You over here. I went too fast, guys. That's why you got to be careful. Okay, back to fighting. Ah, the OCD in me is satisfied now. I can't be the only person who does that. I can't be the only person who wants to see that happen that way. Okay, I must have satisfied somebody in chat there. Let me know. By making sure that the middle and then the two uppers are all the ranged attacks. And then the guys on the right are the ones doing melee attacks. For all of you other OCD people out there, I got you. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost through this. When we do get to the point where we can't one-hit them, I'm going to remove two muffins from my team because I don't want to be wasting energy. And then I might put them back when it comes to fight the boss, but I'm not going to be wasting energy on all the little ones. So if I'm going to have to hit twice anyway, I don't want to use five energy. Wow, we got matcha again. Okay. Okay, you know what we're going to do? You guys already know what we're doing. We're going to keep this nice and symmetrical. We're going to go double matcha. The chocolate's not bad, but I actually think I want to change it now. I'm going to change it over to these. Um, I don't even, How do you pronounce that? Is that called streusel crumbs? I don't know what that is. If anybody in chat knows what that is, let me know. But I have no idea what it is. And then I think. You know what? We're going to go over here. We're going to give you chocolate. Yeah, we're going to go with bonus chocolate for Screw over here. Screw looks like he needs some chocolate in his life. Okay, so we're not one-hitting them anymore. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove this one, this one, and then we'll see. There we go. Now we're back to two-hitting. But because we only have three muffins in the team, it only uses three energy at a time, which means six energy per enemy defeated. So make sure you guys are changing your muffin teams around. Don't just build a team of five and then just keep it that way and attack without any sort of like system or strategy. Every single enemy on this world or in this level is going to have this amount of HP, as you can see here. So customize your muffin team to make the best use of your energy so that you're not wasting energy. Just a little bit of uh, big brain tips from your friendly neighborhood guru here. Hey, what's up, Enzar? And Jade, GM, you're loading. Are you loading into the game right now? You guys are testing it out. Let me know how your muffin pulls go. I got really lucky with my muffin pull. I actually may have to repair those weapons in the near future. I got to be careful about that. Because I noticed that when I got them, they were like half HP. There we go. I only need three muffins to take this one on. G 
GMGM. Once again, you guys, for anybody who's just showing up, uh, we're playing Magic Muffins. It's the official soft launch, so this is not the official launch of the game. That will be happening next week on the 12th. We've already posted a teaser with an awesome, awesome video, actually. Um, so you guys go check it out if you haven't. We did post it in the chat earlier, um, but we'll probably put it underneath the thread of the stream itself. So definitely go check it out. We've got our signature custom-made Magic Muffins 90s cartoon theme song. Um, I love it. So I definitely think you guys will go love it, too. And also head on over to the Earn Alliance um, Telegram if you have not yet, and just stay up to date with all things Magic Muffins. We also had a link to that shared in chat earlier too. So just go and check it out. Easy to find anything. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll happily post it in chat again. But we're almost at level 20, guys. We're gonna keep going to level 20 here. And I got another chest. I gotta be saving up this weapon dust. Oh, we got three pulls here. I wonder what it's gonna be. So we're definitely gonna get muffin dust. But then, Crazy Crypto, you out of here? Adios, my man. Have a good one. My friendly neighborhood whale. What is this muffin? What is that? I got to check that out. You guys, do you see that? That facial hair? I got to check out that muffin. Look at that. It's the Glaze Crusader. Damn. Okay. I like it. The name's got to be one of my favorite things about this game. Like, seriously, I love it. We're almost there. We're almost there. This time, I think I might power up to five muffins for the boss. Because I don't want to be wasting too much energy. The boss is always going to be the second last here. So we're going to go in. We'll throw our muffins on really quick for a full powered battle. Head back and... There we go. What do we get? Oh, we got three rewards here. Oh, we just got a little rolling or a, a whisk. Nothing special. All right. I think we can probably remove these guys again. I know it's a takes a little while to do it this way, but I think it's worth. I definitely think it's worth to save your energy. Don't waste your energy. It's very valuable. And the more progress you can make, the better. So definitely use your energy sparingly. We're almost there, though. We're almost at level 20. Has anybody seen the level 20 boss before? You guys know what it is? If you do, feel free to let me know in chat. But for those of you who don't, you're in for a treat. It's pretty cool. Oh, 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 that was a boss. I'm out of energy. <laughs> See, this is insane. The exponential energy increase, 540 gold. That's why we need to save our gold here. So much gold. I may not be able to get another one. That would just be such a waste of gold for me. So we'll see. I'm hopefully going to be able to... Oh, nope. He doesn't want to go. All right, we go back to fight. We come here. I'm hopefully going to be able to make it to 20 with this energy. There we go. Nice. Ooh. We got it. All right, we're progressing, we're progressing. So once again, I think, oh, I do have my chest here, so I'm gonna grab it. As you guys can probably notice, I'm saving up the potions here. It's because I really do wanna level up the M. So I'm not, I'm trying not to use the potions right now because I don't wanna waste them. I wanna wait until I get another um, one star muffin that has the same class as the M because you need to fuse like this one's two star which is great it's a great great sign but I don't have a one star yet so what I might end up having to do is potentially opening up some basic muffin chests I don't really want to spend more ally but we'll see what happens right we're gonna do our best though here so yeah let's just keep going I don't think I need this many muffins though let me remove one of these Hmm, is the math gonna math here? Yes, it does. Nice, still two hits. Okay, let's keep going. I gotta be careful of my energy. We're running out now. I also wanna show you guys the second region because you probably noticed that all of the enemies look the same so far. It's because every 20 levels is going to be the same enemies. And then after that, you go into a new region, which is new visuals. Uh, new enemies, new designs, etc. So now, let's put my muffins on really quick. This is a product of soft launch. If I try and move those too quickly, they don't like that. Okay, let's click fast. Nice. Let's see what we get now. Our rewards are getting pretty good now. 
Ooh. Oh, we got some armor. Wow, that armor looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to change that armor out. I actually think that armor looks kind of like paladin armor to me. What do you guys think? I think it does. Shiny armor? Mm, it does, but I don't like it. I prefer this one. I think this one looks way better. How's my weapon doing? It's getting lower on durability. We're okay, though. We're still all right. Maybe what we'll do then is we'll change up. Maybe we'll change up his armor. Yeah, and then I think what we'll do is we'll put that. Yeah, I like that better. And then we're going to put the armor, like the barbarian looking armor on screw. That looks like it's a lot more suitable. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, we're on level 20. So here, I don't mind if I'm wasting a little bit of energy. I'll be able to make it. I say that, and now I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm going to be saving my energy. I honestly think I might not make it if I... This is 1,400, 1,400. If I put him up a little bit, it might be a little bit more. I'm going to level him up to five. Okay. Just want to make sure I have enough here. Okay, we're almost there. Nice. We got our chest here. We're low on energy, but we should have enough to make it through this boss. And then I can show you guys the next region. So one brings me down that much? Yeah, definitely. We're almost there. We've done a million damage so far. I love the damage meter. Here he is. This is the boss, the Monkey King. This is the one I wanted to show you guys. So... I want to make sure he's... No, I got him. He's easy peasy. Let's make sure we take care of him. Monkey King's GG. We're going to get him. I really like the way he looks, though, you guys. This is the Easter egg. This is the Black Myth Kong boss at the end of the region that waits for you. He looks so cool. I know the team is working on uh, ways to have him come in a little bit more intensely, and I can't wait for us to see that. Hey, oh, I got Stabby. Nice. Stabby is another one. So now we move into the next region. We go into the floating grasslands. And you guys can see the background has changed. The enemies have changed. The challenge is definitely a lot harder. The HP has gone up a little bit. The bosses will change too. And this continues to progress every 20 levels that you com or that you complete. And the regions will continue to grow more and more and more and more. So even if you guys grind through the first 40 regions here in obviously the soft launch, which some of you whales will, I know, then we'll have many more regions coming up afterwards for you to come in and continue playing, continue earning, of course, your monster dust and be able to use that to level up all of your muffins. So let's just do a quick once over for anybody who's maybe just tuning in. I do just want to let you guys know real quick. Of course, we're testing we're kind of testing we're more playing on the soft launch the brand new telegram game magic muffins that of course has been made in-house by the earn alliance team so this is a web 3 game meaning it's essentially a tap to earn game with web 3 elements in it um, so there is the chance to be able to earn tokens and be able to actually mint your nfts if you can bring them up to a five star muffin you can turn them into an nft which becomes an on-chain a tradable asset now uh, we have gone over we played a little bit and some of the things that we've learned first off is of course um <laughs> be lucky like me if you want and you want to use these chests but guys just so you know you really don't have to be spending your tokens on these chests um, i do think that at the moment they're still really good if you want to get that quick head start so i personally went through i grabbed a couple of these chests i probably used I think it was about 300 ally in total and i got myself a pretty nice team to go through um, but for anybody starting off even if you don't have a lot of ally or a lot of gold i highly recommend you try and prioritize getting your energy upgrades first i am currently sitting at 750 you start with 250 this energy upgrade is a permanent upgrade and it only costs a small amount of gold in the beginning so i highly recommend using your gold to get that so that as your energy refreshes because this is the kind of game you're not going to complete in one sitting you'll come back regularly to have a lot more energy to use your sessions will be longer which means you'll have some more fun and you'll also make a lot more progress which is great because in a tap to earn game that means that you're earning more in the long term now, of course, NFA, you guys, this isn't about earning. It is a game, but it's just good to be able to know that. So I highly recommend you do that. And then when it comes down to the muffins themselves. So 
I've got an awesome team of muffins so far. I'm really, really happy with the way that it's turned out. But regardless of the fact, I recommend you guys to build your team up and down as needed to not waste too much energy. So for every muffin in your team, you're going to use one energy. I have five in my team. So every hit does requires five energy. And in the event that I actually end up almost one hitting them, but I would over defeat them, like overkill them with my next hit, because in total I'm doing almost 4,000 damage. There's just no point in me actually using five muffins here. So I would remove one or two of these muffins and I would just attack to save a little bit of energy. So that's my advice for you guys starting off. And of course, as you play, as you have fun, don't forget that this is all linked to your account on Earn Alliance. And as you progress, you get XP that helps you actually level up on the Ally Pass, which in turn will give you some rewards you can use in Magic Muffins. So everything's kind of mixed together. There's also a lot of opportunity to amplify your progression by referring friends and of course, completing missions on earnalliance.com and hanging out and checking out the news on the wall. So we're going to wrap it up there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Even if you guys haven't had a chance to play the game yet, definitely check it out. Check out the new teaser we just dropped because it's really, really fun. I think it's a lot like it's a really, really great video with an awesome theme song. So go give it a watch. And if you guys aren't sold on Magic Muffins yet, you definitely will be after that. But we're going to wrap it up there. So I hope you all had a great time and we will catch you next week on The Wall TV. See you. Bye bye.